o'clock. I slept in and didn't make my workout this morning. Okay, this was terrible. Like, how many tote bags can I have here? You know? I got my Starbucks. I love cooking glasses. It's, like, legitimately my favorite thing. Both of these are not cut cowboy boots. I've been um, a couple times, actually, and I'm really, really excited. I've got room for, like, probably four or five more pairs of boots. I have my coffee. Today is going to be a great day. I can already feel it. I need to leave here in about like an hour. So I'm just finishing up what I'm going to wear. I feel like this in a coat and a scarf and Uggs. It's, I wear like the same thing every winter. I am like such a visual person. So I'm beginning to think, and I don't like clutter, and I feel like I always have too many clothes even though I'm always donating them. But I feel like I waste so much time planning outfits, or I need, you know like in Smart Home, when they had like the big iPad on like here, and I need like outfits, like this is what I need. This is my ideal moment. I walk into my closet in the morning with my coffee, fresh skincare, ready to get dressed for the day, and... I have like a large iPad like screen here with a bunch of outfit inspo. I guess I could also just like do that. Would that be an interesting video? Like deciding my new style and then making like a vision board basically in my closet so I always have like outfit inspo. I really don't like being on my phone all the time and yeah, I can check my phone, but something about it gives me anxiety. I'm not into it. So anyways, I wanna try new Dibs products. I have um, a code, it's Kinsey25, I think, for 25% off until December 5th, I think. Speaking of, if today is December 5th, today is the last day for the Cyber Week sales on the Breadwinning Housewife merch, so if you want any of the home stuff or any of the past stuff that we have in stock, go shopping. It's a great gift. I've been liking how I'm doing my makeup lately. I would like to self-tan today, if possible. But you know what? I'm wearing a white shirt to a cooking class. I'll be changing our top. I can't even wear a white shirt anywhere. Like, who am I kidding? From last night, um, if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, I basically have just... My anxiety the past few weeks has been so high. Background. And then I just... I don't know. Like, I'll get in these, like, spirals of feeling like I'm not enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm not achieving enough. I'm not successful enough. I'm not whatever. And I feel like it comes in waves. Like, sometimes I feel totally fine. And then other days, I'm like, I'm quitting everything you know and last night I ended up like starting editing a video and then I actually finished it and it was like a video I, it was the Martha Stewart vlog a video I really liked I took a nice bath good news guys I think my skincare at least the summer Friday stuff is arriving today and let me just tell you my skin really 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 needs it I do love my Curology though I forgot I don't know why I forgot that I had it and then I started using it. I was like why wasn't I using that I was reading this book called like all I want for Christmas I think um it was a really cheesy honestly it wasn't good like it wasn't a good book and i think it was like the exact book that i needed to read last night that was like when i say dumb i don't mean like okay do you ever use a word and then like you can't say it like publicly because you're like that comes off like really mean or like totally not like you and your friends like say something it's like idiot but like that's not you know what i mean like it's just like not a like i don't know um, when I say like I need a dumb book, I more so mean like a pal when people say like palette cleanser books or like just like kind of like a mindless, cheesy, whatever book. And it was kind of like that. Even with that though, I was reading it and I was like, I actually really don't like this. But here's the catch. It was a Christmas book set in Nashville between two country stars. So like literally right up my alley. So I thought I was going to like it more. And honestly, like even though as I was reading it, I was like, I don't really like it. I had to finish it because... Hello, that's me. Like, I'm so delusional to where I say that's me as if, like, I'm the country star. I'm like, that's, that's, you know, like, all the, all the Gen Z ki kids, all those people say. Okay, speaking of dibs, this is not sponsored. By the way, I just love dibs. I don't know if this is the right one. She gave me another stick yesterday, but since I'm still using mine, I'm going to give it to Lauren because Lauren really wanted one, and I told her I get her one, but I really, it just, like, makes your life so much easier. When I first started using them, I was like, oh yeah, they're good, whatever. And then like as time went on, I'm like, I'm obsessed. That's how I am with like every makeup product though. It's very odd. Like I, but the Kosas powder, I first used it, I was like, I don't know. And now couldn't live without it. Do you guys ever think about like who has you muted on Instagram? You know? And I was thinking about that. Like, you know the people who post and they're like, mute for your mental health. Like, 
if my friends don't want to see my stuff, I totally get it. Like, that's fine, whatever. Like, do whatever you need to do. And yeah, like, I agree with the sentiment, but like, I don't want to know. You know? Come on, let's be honest, guys. And the worst thing is, those people are like, I wouldn't even be offended. I'm like, you wouldn't be offended? Okay. That's not true. Not true. You know what? I have this item. Oh, that's not proud, y'all. Anyways, I woke up feeling a lot better. I did finish that book last night, though. I read, like, the last, I think I read, like, 60% of it. Also, I know so many of my book girls love Magnolia Parks, and I think that people have not connected the dots that that is Jessa Hastings for my podcast. Those are her books, and those are the books I was talking about forever, but when she was on the show, at first, like, Magnolia Parks hadn't come out, but she says it to me early, you know? <laughs> Perks of knowing the author, coolest thing about my life. But I had read them way before. Anyways, another one comes out, like, in a few weeks, and she sent it to me, so I want to read that. I have another thriller book that... Brooke has been posting about that I want to read. I'm like three away from my yearly goal. Like I'm definitely gonna pass it. Especially once I'm done with Vlogmas. Like I feel like I'll just like chill for two weeks and just read a ton. And I need that. Like I need that. I need those weeks where I'm like resetting mentally clearly. But honestly, it would be helpful guys if you just like told me what videos you liked watching and like what parts you don't like watching. And if you feel like they're so repetitive that they're boring. And I know a lot of people are like, I love the repetitive, like, that's the part of vlogs that I love, which I feel that way when I watch other people. I, when I edit mine or even watch mine back when I'm not editing them, I'm like, this is just, like, it, I'm like, this isn't good. Like, it's just so boring. I don't know, guys. I'm in my, like, self-doubt era, you know? I don't want to be at all. I feel like I'm, like, in a flop era and I'm not feeling good about it, but, like, next year, next year I'll be better, you know? I just feel like no one is even, like, there. Like, I'm, like, talking to a wall, you know? Like, is my YouTube career over? Be honest. <clears throat> so anyways, I like don't want it to be and I want to do other videos But like the honestly what it is is like I just like reading comments like that is the most fulfilling thing to me That's the rewarding part of YouTube is the comment section and Like feeling like there's like a community there and I just feel like I don't know. I feel like everything is just Going downhill for me these days, honestly, you know whose vlogs I love so much is Devin Carlson's and this is what I mean like when I watch them I'm like oh like she just says whatever and I've been on YouTube forever like whatever I'm gonna try this lip liner like my hand to face difference. I can't even talk about it I literally we're not talking about it. I already hear it see and hear the comments and like honestly Yeah, I agree. Okay, it's a beautiful color It's just not what I'm going for today, but here we are it might be the, my favorite like consistency of lip liner I've ever used like so moisturizing weird who knew? <clears throat> I watched Devin Carlson. I'm like, she could do nothing, and I would find it interesting. Like, she's just the star. I think I'm saying it makes sense. I'm gonna put this lip gloss on, and I know it's probably not gonna make sense. I love dibs. Like, seriously. It, uh, another thing, too, that I will say, every industry feels, like, saturated. Makeup, I feel like, is really hard to break into, and it's hard to make something more, like, honestly, I think it's more so than it's hard to make something that's, like, not already on the market. And dibs has, like, really, really been so incredible i don't even know if i told y'all this but i ordered a light fixture to go up there to replace the ugly light that i'm blocking off so that'll be up next week we'll have some home updates we're gonna have some mall vlogs um but i got the same one that i have downstairs because finding a light fixture like the worst part about being an adult and having a house is picking out rugs and finding light fixtures because like i don't know my style in those and like what i really want i feel like i always change what i want anyways with things, so um, that was the worst thing. So I decided to just get the one that I have downstairs, regard like anyways, because I know I like it. I think I might put it in the kitchen too. I did. I do think I got two on accident, but honestly, I have another space that I could use anyways. I'm using the wrong mirror. I did get a lash lift, um, and I feel like it was great. I'm not dying to like go back and get another one. You know, like it was good. I say that now. Like once it goes down, maybe it will. It will bother me. I'm not curling my lashes right now at all. I really am using incredible makeup products like right now. I honestly love my outfit. I forgot about this coat that I have, and it's incredible. It's this teddy bear coat. I think it's from Misguided. I'll try to link it if I can find it online. Um, and then I just have obviously my puff bag. I just made like 15 TikToks. Suddenly, I feel much, much better. Hi! Oh my god, we're like color coordinating. Exactly, we're opposites. Your bag is so cute. Look, look at your bag, though. Oh my god. I want to see it in person. It's, my headphones are kind of weird right now, but best bag. Ever. It's 
it's really cute. Like, you've been able to it. That's why it's expensive. Or not expensive, but. <gasps> Wait, <Wait, Nikita. gasps> Stop the espresso martini. Oh Wait, that's so. I need to get that. We'll have time in the middle of class to shop. Okay. I like know the rundown. Oh my god, this is cute too. I love. Oh, this is perfect. Cause like oh I was looking for very Sister. specific elements. Mm -hmm. Gosh, this is amazing. This oyster. See, my bachelor and Lauren and I we get oysters all the time from Hudson House. Hi. Making your way in. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, I love her. Also, I'm going to Paris on New Year's Eve, so maybe I should get you know. No, you don't have to fold it. You just want to put it on. The Polar Espresso. Guys, first of all, this is my favorite. This is my favorite Christmas movie. I think that's an unpopular opinion. No, I love that movie. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay, every time I say that, nobody's vibing with me. You know what's crazy? I have realized that in recent years. I thought everyone always loved the Polar Express. Yeah, when I saw you went to the activation, yeah. I was like, hello? Do you like, know I that? We're gonna be friends. Do you know that that's where I got COVID? Was on a Polar Express thing <laughs> with a bunch of five year olds? Don't say that. By the way, guys, the Polar Express. We said espresso because that is the name before people comment. Actually, you know what? Any engagement is good engagement. Sure. Be angry. Espresso. E X P R E S S O. Espresso. Taste test. Taste test time. This is one of my favorite espresso martinis. I'm nervous because it doesn't look super creamy, but I trust you. It looks creamy on top. Yeah, you're actually kind of right. I do like Millie better, but I do like this one. Good. Okay, it's really good. So, for context, I'm not a coffee drinker, guys. So I can't, if I can taste the coffee in my espresso, <laughs> then um, usually it's not, I can't do it. But Drake's, like, yeah. for the most part, they make a good creamy one. We don't know if they changed the recipe recently. And then this one, it's good because you see the layer of cream on top. Yeah. That's Okay, so. That's a secret, I think. It is. No, it has to be. That. It has to have some sort of, like, creamy mm -hmm. element to it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I love it. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. That's really good. Especially for a non-coffee drinker. Yeah, here we go. True. Okay, Bria and I did an ornament exchange. Look at how cute. And then, I couldn't let her buy it for herself. I got her throbbing. Her and AJ love. Oh wait, can you see it? It's sentimental for me and AJ because we both get ramen like once a week. So cute. Yeah. Make sure he knows it's for him as well. No, I will, I will. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at us. Thank you. I know, we really are the cutest. Hey guys, I had the best morning with Bria. I'm gonna pick up Lauren because she's getting like her lips in Botox done and she can't go without me. So, gonna go drive her there. It kind of like actually starting to feel like Christmas. It's later in the afternoon. I just ordered Taco Bell. I don't know about y'all, but 
I will get a craving for Taco Bell probably like once every couple months and I have to have it. But having Taco Bell, getting work done, hanging out with the dogs before I leave to get ready. I'm back from dinner. We didn't go out. I'm so tired. Like I just need to get to bed. I'm just unboxing some packages that arrived when I was gone. I got the Daily Stoic book. I've heard so many amazing things about this in the morning. So I wanted to try it out because I feel like I used to do like devotionals and stuff when I was more in that world. And I don't really relate to that stuff. So figured the Daily Stoic is for me. We waited for our table at Honor Bar for over two hours tonight. Which is fine because like we just went and got a drink at Monkey Bar, but it was actually no, it wasn't fine. I I should have said no. I should have gone home. I should have been like, you know what? No. So here we are. I got some stuff from Summer Fridays. Shoot, oh my God. they sent me this like cute little puff bag. I'm just gonna like unbox all of this now. It is lip balm. I love this stuff. Basically, my entire skincare routine is the Sonia Dakar Super Clear Serum, and then all Summer Fridays. Um, and also Curology, and then I also use apostrophe for certain things. It just depends. But like my basics that I do, this is the Cloud Dew Moisturizer. I love it. Like it's just incredible. This 16 like heavenly facial oil thing, unbelievable. Like I don't think I've ever loved a face oil so much. Actually I never have. It's the best face oil ever. Vitamin C, which everyone always talks about how important vitamin C is, and to be honest with you, when I use it, I like don't feel like I see that big of a difference. I just know it's important for me. Maybe I'm just like not seeing it. I don't know, but it doesn't matter what vitamin C I use. It's like I just it's like something I know that I need to do, but like am I supposed to see something? Like I'm supposed to be like glowier? I don't know. But also I will say, like when I'm not tan, when I'm pale, I just don't feel glowy. Like my skin isn't super Glowy, the only way I feel glowy is if I'm tan and then I have like a bunch of oil on. The Nourishing Body Lotion, because my skin has been so dry lately. These are like my three skincare products that I use every day, plus the Sonia Dakar Super Clear Serum, like I said. Okay, I'll put this on. Oh! Okay, I literally had two drinks in the span of four hours. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It is only like 10 something, so I'm gonna go to bed. I might start reading a new book. I think I'll probably fall asleep. I need some matching pajamas on. I need some skincare and I need to be sleeping. I'll talk to you guys in the morning.